welcome back witch bitches so for this week's video on universe tv i decided that i was gonna do a christmas slash yule thrift haul if you're new here my name is andy and i like to do uh videos based on a lot of witchcraft slash wiccan things lifestyle what have you as a little preface i tried to stick to holiday decorations that were more in the pagan and wiccan which area of decorations rather than like jesus and angels and things like that so i tried to avoid angels and nativity sets obviously and uh any judeo-christian typical symbols for christmas i suppose so that can be kind of tricky obviously living in the midwest we're definitely a part of the bible belt a little bit so especially in small town iowa i tried let's just say that anything that i ended up getting i either i really loved or i felt like it it worked in like a nice crossover like gray area for when it comes to holiday decorations without further ado let's get into it the thrift store that i went to is called stuffs etc that's also where i went to for my it was a halloween haul so stuffs etc is a consignment store based out of iowa i believe the first one was founded in coralville and it's very popular we have quite a few in like the waterloo cedar rapids iowa city area and they're they're really nice big stores good selection of like everything they also typically do holiday sales for the seasonal items like two weeks before the holiday is over so everything that i picked up today was at least 50 percent off from there um i also picked up a couple of things i went to tj maxx and then i went to five below and i picked up a couple, a couple of other things that i just really wanted and was fairly inexpensive probably my first one Thing that I saw instantly and I, I grabbed it right away at stuffs was this so this is this little like tin sleigh super cute it hangs on this string here my camera frame is not big enough for you to see it like that but um so this was originally $9.99 through them and then it was 50% off so I only paid five bucks for this and it is like heavy duty so, and it's got this, the cute little mistletoe or holly, whatever the hell it is. I don't know. But yeah, and so I just, it's kind of a, a gray area universal holiday decoration. So, I like it a lot though. I'm excited to hang this up. Holiday centerpiece. Let's take it out of the box. How about that? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, this is... No. Oh, we lost a pine cone. Pine cone down. So this is what this looks like. It still has a tag on it, so the glass all looks in really good shape. Um, nice and pretty. So it's got like that big open area right in the middle. It's like a, a circle here. So I might just put a pillar candle or something else that I picked up might end up going in the middle of this. I don't know yet. But yeah, this pine cone isn't attached. So I'm gonna probably just super glue or hot glue him back in place. That's the only thing really wrong with it though. So a lot of what I try to do for um, this stuff, specifically for like a Yule type um, haul, was to base things more off of like Christmas naturey things, you know, like um, environmental things rather than actual like characters and things like that. So, and how much did I pay for this? So this was $8.99 um, full price for them. And I ended up paying, so that would be what, $4.50? So, not too shabby if I do say so myself, especially for something that is essentially brand new. Like there's 
what next to nothing wrong with this. So it still had a tag on it. It's I'm sure that that pine cone probably just fell off from like being in the box and people picking it up and things like that. So okay, and then I picked up this guy. <laughs> So deer are another thing that works for like a, a gray area when it comes to Christmas and Yule decorations. It, I would focus, if you want to focus on more yule type decorations, focus on like things, bells, um, stars, deer, obviously there's yule logs and things like that, which I really wanted to try to find a yule log cake pan, but that wasn't, there was no way in hell that was happening. I, the chances of those even being sold around somewhere here is slim to none. So, but, so this guy was $4.99 originally, so I paid $2.50 for him. So he had a mishap in the parking lot. His head came off, but I think, see, his head comes off. But I don't know, maybe I'll just move it back in there or something. Maybe I want to keep it so it comes off so that nothing happens. But he's a candle holder. So got these little spiky dudes. So I think I'm gonna have to pick up some more candles. It for over there. I did find some um, metal cookie cutters. This one does have an angel in it. Uh, I had another one in here for some too. Oh yeah, and then some, I think these are, those are some fat gingerbread man. They're fat. Can you see him? He's looking pretty chubby. He's thick with two seats. So like I said, I focus a lot on deer, reindeer things. So I also, I picked up this guy. I really like him. He's nice and sparkly. I don't, you might not be able to see it, but he's got like iridescent glitter randomly placed throughout. So, but yeah. So he was $3.99 originally. So I paid a dollar or $2 for him. Can you guess before I pull it out? Can you guess what it is? Another little reindeer. So this one's silver and he's got some beads, some red and green beads on him. He still has the tag on him, so it's pretty much brand new. And I paid $1.50 for him. And he does stand up on his own. I got a bag of these tea light holders. They're snowflakes. So I paid $2.99 for these. So that makes them $1.50. Aren't they cute? These can go pretty much wherever the hell you want, too, so. And then I got this weird little block of wood that says Jingle Bells and glitter on it. And it's just got some twine. Somebody probably just made this at home, I'm sure. Uh, those look like they might just be stickers, but I can't tell for sure. But, um, so this was $2. Okay, and then I got these reindeer picks so I made um if you recall for Samhain I made like this little decorational bucket thing that I put a bunch of pumpkins in and some flowers some harvest flowers and things like that in so I made a similar one for Yule that um has pine cones in it at least one of these I'm sure is going to end up going in here in there so I got three of them and they all had the tags on them still and they were $2.99 originally and I paid $2 for all three of them. So that's a fucking steal. I literally paid $7 less for brand new things. So, and they have like gold glitter on them too. So that's pretty neat. Then I got this cute little snowflake ornament thingy. The tag fell off of it. Where'd it go? Um, I paid a dollar for this. I just thought it was cute. It just kind of called to me. So, made out of is like a foam that's not what reduce reuse recycle if it is plastic it's living another life it's a, ended up in a landfill and ruining our planet so and i got this little little cute bowl i just really like this it's got this white with silk silver and gold on it it says it's not microwavable safe so this i think came from maybe like a tj maxx originally so the price tag originally was $7.99 and I paid a dollar. So can't beat that. And then I got these, this set of candles. They're kind of ugly, but I kind of like them, so I don't really care. 
They are made out of 100% natural beeswax. So this was $2 for these two pillar candles. Naturally fragrant. It smells like dust. Okay, and then I got these little trees. There's three in here and they get, they're three different sizes. There's one big, medium, and small. And I paid a dollar for the three trees. And another little tiny baby, baby reindeer. He's a candle holder also. He's got a price, like half the price tag on him and it says six something. So that's pretty expensive for this tiny little thing. I would think like $3 maybe. So I paid a dollar for him. I got this big red star. Um, I actually think, so he was, oh, this actually says 4th of July on the bottom. Hey, it works. Multi-purpose. Okay, it works. So this was $8.99 originally. It looks like a, a Hobby Lobby tag. So, uh, I paid $1.50 for it. So, I don't know if you recall, if you were with us for that video for the um, Halloween thrift haul. I found this candle holder from Stuffs that is a skeleton hand. And I said something about how I'm not gonna get rid of him. He's just gonna live here now. I think that I'm gonna replace him with this for until after Christmas is over and then probably bring this back out for 4th of July to be completely honest, cause why not? Another little bowl, a holiday dish. So it's got a reindeer with like a cardinal in it. The reindeer's wearing a scarf, he's cute. So this was a $1.99, or a $1.99 full price, and then it was 50% off, so it was only a dollar. So this is just like a little cutout. It says it's a dog with antlers, but I think it's actually supposed to be a jackalope. But yeah, it does not look like a dog to me. I can see it a little bit, I guess, here and there, but it looks like it's supposed to be a jackalope to me. He was $2. I don't know where he's going yet. We'll figure it out. That's gonna be, uh, the next half of this video is me figuring out everything. I'll just do like a little time lapse of where everything's going and you can watch me decorate my living room. So this is probably the most expensive thing that I picked up while I was there. So this is a Santa. The reason why I went for this Santa was because of the fact he reminds me more so of like an Odin type Santa, not like a Judeo-Christian Santa got a little nutcracker and then the staff here and also this is gonna be super annoying he's a music box yeah he was $8.99 originally and I ended up paying what is that, 450? I couldn't get by without picking up uh, at least one Santa. So that is it for the stuffs part of all of this. And now I'm gonna show you, I picked up something at TJ Maxx. The whole time I was at stuffs, I was kind of looking for some wine glasses, but the only ones I found were like, ones that had Christmas trees on them and said like holly jolly and bright or some shit like that. And I just did not, wasn't feeling them. So then, can you guess what's on them? Reoccurring theme for today. What did I buy everything of? All the reindeer, right? Boom, reindeer wine glasses. They stick out. They stick like way out. So. Hell yeah, bruh. So these are $9.99 for the set of two. This actually came from Home Goods. I looked at TJ Maxx, but I didn't see anything. I know that they're owned by the same company or whatever, but I did not see anything at TJ Maxx. Like the spoon savers for your stove top. I just got one that's got the holly and berries and stuff on it or whatever. Poinsettias, is that a poinsettia? I don't, I don't know, I don't know flowers. But um, this was $4.99. And then I went to Five Below, because they're cheap as hell, and I picked up one more. It's another reindeer. It's a glittery reindeer, and I love it. It's so pretty. This is $3. So, that pretty much concludes my thrift haul. 
the next part of this video will probably be just you watching me decorate my living room. I also have a little update. Um, if you were with me earlier for this video, link up above, um, I took a quiz to, for my Pottermore houses and my wand and I ordered a custom wand off of Etsy and it is here. So you're going to open it with me for the first time and the box is still sealed, still sealed. I promise. I swear I have not seen it yet. I have no idea. It was somewhere between $35 and $40. Ooh. The Etsy store that I ordered it from is called Fantasy by Numbers. So the card that it says, <laughs> that it came with says, range spells only. We test the strength of each of our wands, but due to the nature of 3D printing, this they're, they're 3D printed, so you can, if you look close enough, you can see all the like, rings or whatever the the stuff i don't know what the hell it is that they use but um due to the nature of 3d printing they will not be as strong as wood or injection molded plastic just stick with the old swish and flick and they'll be fine seriously don't use them as drumsticks and don't hit your siblings <laughs> here we are here we are i'm so excited Oh, it's, it's, it looks so skinny. <sighs> I really want it to be more dainty and, okay, okay, moment of truth. Moment of truth. What do we think? What do we like? Is it good? Oh my God. Cry. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm gonna cry. I'm done. Why am I crying? If you go watch that video, you'll watch the process a little bit more of how I created it. Like, I based it off of the the quiz that I made and then I just customized the, the style a little bit more to what I would prefer. It's beautiful. It is well worth the money that I spent to get it. I'm ecstatic about this. Anybody who has been around in my life for some time knows that I'm a Harry Potter fanatic. I have a Harry Potter tattoo on my back. Um, I literally have an entire like three shelves on my bookshelf that is just Harry Potter, either memorabilia or different books. Harry Potter's my shit, man. That's it for this section of the video. So I will see you tomorrow after I clean my house and get to decorating with all this beautiful Christmas stuff that I bought. So, or Yule stuff that I bought. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome back to day two of the Yule slash Christmas haul. Um, I'm just gonna get down to it and um, get to decorating, I suppose. But first, honorable mention here. Do you check out this lipstick? Like, ooh, girl, who is she? I messed up a little bit on this side. Take more of that, please. But this is so freaking pigmented, I was like floored. This is a Farmacy brand. This might be my new MVP lipstick. So, only they had a black one because I really want a black lipstick. Okay, so let's just get down to it, shall we? All the lights are coming on now. How I wish that it would snow now. I don't feel like going home now. I wish that I would stay. All the trees are on display now. And it's cold. Like going home now. I wish that I could stay. Wish that I could walk. Wish that I could walk. Wish that I could walk you home. All the lights are coming on. 
here's what my centerpiece ended up looking like. I don't have enough candles. So that's going to be a repeating theme now. Um, I did not. You'd think being a witch I would have quite a few of these, but I don't. So, um, I'm going to have to go buy another, a couple more packs from the dollar store tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, so this is what the table looks like. That's my big ring light. Ignore that. So, pretty plain drain, simple. I like it though, it's super cute. The reindeer's really cute right in the middle. Apparently I straight, I thought it was playtime. What are you doing? Really? Really? I'm trying to film here. You got your foot stuck in it. Go lay down. the snowflake things once again I don't have any candles for these so there's our Christmas stockings those have been up for a little while now and then I was talking about my Harry Potter stuff so here's my Harry Potter stuff this guy I picked up at um, Target a couple of years ago out of the dollar section so obviously need candles for him but there's my tin reindeer man and then the little reindeer bowl. And then I got this from my aunt. She made it a couple of years ago. It has a tea light in it, but I think it's dead. Here's this one little table. Little reindeer that I picked up from Five Below yesterday. It can't stand on its own. So. Yeah, he's a sad reindeer. So I kind of have him propped up against the trees. And my little jingle bell block thing. That's cute. There's the bucket I was talking about yesterday. I put one of the golden reindeer in there. And then I did this with the sleigh as well. I don't know. It might be overkill, but I really like it. I think it looks pretty cute. Here's the tree. Up here, we got our little jackalope friend. He's cute. I like him up there. It's kind of like a little hidden surprise. And then here is this table. So our singing Santa Claus, and then our star, and the two holly sticks. This, my, this is probably my favorite pickup of the whole haul. So I really like this a lot. And then I, that little bowl, I don't know what else I do with this. So I just put a candle in it. It works. And then he obviously doesn't have a candle. Poor Ruda. So I'll get him a candle tomorrow. Hey guys. So that's it for the Christmas slash Yule time haul. Um, I uh, also the wine glasses ended up in the kitchen. I usually just take out seasonal wine glasses for whatever holiday and then I put them away when they're done. So they're just out on the counter pretty much. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to smash that subscribe button, please. I know I'm not gonna hit my goal of 100 by Christmas because it's only like a week. It would be a miracle if it happened. I would be ecstatic if it happened. So please share this video with your friends and your family. I don't know, I just, I really hope to see you guys next week. So next week will be a video all about Yule and the Wiccan traditions of Yule and how we got to where we are today with Christmas and Yule. So I will see y'all next week. Australia will see y'all next week too. Okay? Okay, bye. Catch me outside, how about that? That was awful. I don't know why I did that. I regret it instantly. Nope. <laughs> Maybe he can sit in the middle. Oh, he can fit. Oh. Uh, I can't reach. Uh. Goddamn leviosa.